What up, guys? This is Chivo Guides back here again with another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys a bunch of tips and tricks for Power Wash Simulator. This game has been out on PC for a few months. However, it just released on Xbox, and on top of that, it's on Xbox Game Pass. So, it's a really popular game right now, and there's a lot of features in this game that can really help you get jobs done a lot faster. So, I'm here to save the day, and I'm going to teach you guys a bunch of awesome stuff in the game that's really going to help you guys play through it. Alright, first things first, basics. We can change our nozzles by pressing LB or RB. You can tell which nozzle you have on based off of its color. The nozzle distinguishes what type of spray comes out of your pressure washer. Some of the sprays cover more ground, but they're less powerful. Basically, the smaller the coverage area, the powerful the nozzle is. You could also hold Y to check out your different nozzles. This is another way to change them. Maybe you want to select a specific one. So you could either use LB and RB or hold Y. Now, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and select the white nozzle. This has the widest spray out of all of the nozzles, so it's going to cover the most ground. However, it's the least powerful. So it'll work on standard dirt, but it's not going to work on the harder dirt like rust, algae, things like that. Next tip, you can rotate your nozzle by pressing left trigger. This can help target specific areas and it can really add some strategy to your power washing. Again, left trigger rotates your nozzle from it either spraying horizontally or vertically. Next, I want to show you guys your most powerful nozzle. The game refers to it as the red nozzle, but if you hold Y, it clearly looks orange. Anyhow, we're going to call it the red nozzle. As you can see, it doesn't cover as much ground, but it's definitely the most powerful. So if you find yourself not being able to take off some particular dirt, then you can use the red nozzle. It's much more powerful, and it's sure to go ahead and power wash off anything. Next, if you hold X, you can see your extensions. You're going to have to buy these extensions at first, but eventually you'll have a long extension and a short extension. The long extension is obviously going to give you more reach, enabling you to spray areas that are further away or even higher up. And in some jobs, you'll find yourself really close to the thing that you're trying to spray and maybe your gun is too long. And that's when you can go ahead and use the short extension. So that way you can go ahead and have enough room to still be able to spray what's in front of you. Next, I want to talk about liquids. You can hold B to access your liquid menu, and this is how you're going to select which liquid you're using. Now, I want to point out the liquids are specific to the soap dispenser. These liquids aren't actually used for the regular power washer. Again, the liquids are for the soap dispenser, not the regular washer. If you're wondering how to use the soap dispenser, it's a nozzle that you end up purchasing for your power washer. So you can go to the shop and you can purchase the soap dispenser nozzle. Just know to be able to use this, you're going to need liquids and liquids cost money. The soap nozzle costs $75, so you'll need to invest in that. And then after the fact, each liquid's going to run about $10 each. And there's specific liquids for each type of material in the game. At first, I recommend buying all the liquids that you can. Really, the only thing that I spent money on in this game was the liquids. At least so far during my playthrough, I never really bought any cosmetics or anything like that. I just bought the nozzles and extensions at first, and then after that, I'm just buying liquids. Now, every time you look at a new object or surface, it's going to tell you what type of material it is on the upper left-hand corner. So, as you can see, most of the stuff in this skate park takes multi-purpose cleaner. It says multi-purpose in orange. Also, on the lower left-hand corner, it shows which type of liquid you have loaded in orange. So both say multi-purpose, so this is gonna work perfect. We're gonna be able to clear large areas of dirt with the soap dispenser. It's, it is easily the best way to clear large amounts of dirt. You can get jobs done a lot faster using the soap dispenser only thing is is that you do need that liquid and eventually even if you have money to afford more the shop will run out of liquid which will give you no choice but to use your regular power washer but I recommend using the soap dispenser and the liquids as much as you can to the point where they're sold out now if you find that your soap dispenser stops working that's probably because you need to refill your bottle as you can see it says refill cleaning liquid on the bottom you press left trigger to load another bottle and then you'll be able to start spraying stuff again but just keep in mind, eventually you're going to run out of liquid and you'll have to purchase more, at least if it's in stock. Again, if the liquid is out of stock, you're going to have to proceed with the job as normal with the regular pressure washer. But yeah, this can save you a ton of time, guys. In the first few missions, I didn't even realize there was a soap dispenser. And I was taking like two hours per mission. Because obviously I'm trying to get the five stars and get the 100%. And you know, these missions take some time. 
But man, if I would have known about the soap dispenser earlier, I would have saved myself a ton of time on some of these jobs. Now, as you can see, the multi-purpose cleaner is not cleaning this rail. It cleaned underneath it, but not the actual metal part. And that's because if you point at it, it says that it's made of metal. So to clean this rail, we're going to need to change our liquid to the metal cleaner. So you hold B to pop up your liquids and you're gonna change your liquid. And as long as you have some in your inventory, you can go ahead and switch it to metal and we're gonna be able to clean this rail, at least the metal part, a lot easier. The soap dispenser can really help, especially with tricky objects like railings for stairs or pipes or objects that are complex that need to be accessed from a lot of different angles. It also really helps for large flat surfaces because you can cover a lot of ground with the soap dispenser in a short amount of time. Of course, if you have the liquid available. Now, on to my next tip, finding that little piece of dirt that you're missing to go ahead and complete the cleaning on a particular section. First and foremost, if you look on the upper left-hand corner, it shows which item you're focusing on and on whether it's fully clean or not. As you clean the object or surface, that bar is going to start depleting. And once you clean enough of it, it's going to fully clean that object or section. Now, you may be wondering, why does it keep turning orange? That's because if you press right on your D-pad, it'll show you all the dirt in the level. And that can really help you find that missing piece of dirt that you need to go ahead and fully clean an object. Next, I want to talk about aim mode. Now, traditionally to play this game and power wash anything, you're going to be aiming with a combination of your left and right sticks. However, if you press up on the D-pad, you can enter aim mode and that's going to allow you to shoot your power washer like this. Now, in my experience, if you play this game a lot in one session, you can really get yourself motion sick. I can't remember any games I ever got motion sick off of. This has to be the first one. But the first day I played this game, I got very motion sick. And I actually looked it up online and there's actually quite a lot of people that complain about getting motion sick from this game. So much that they made a feature to prevent it. And that is aim mode. Again, to enter aim mode, you press up on the D-pad. If you want to exit out of aim mode, you're going to press up on the D-pad once again. So this tip is mostly specific for those that are getting motion sick off of the game, or maybe you just prefer aim mode, or maybe you want to do some detailed art with your pressure washer, so you want to know how to use aim mode. Next, I want to give you a tip that's going to hopefully prevent you from getting sore fingers or a sore hand from holding down that spray button all the time, and that is the auto spray. To activate auto spray, you want to press left on the D-pad, and it's going to automatically spray your pressure washer, basically making it so you don't have to hold down the right trigger the whole level. If you want to turn off the auto spray, you can go ahead and press left on the D-pad again, and it's going to toggle it off. But yeah, personally, I found this feature very useful. The D-pad actually has a lot of useful features as A mode, it has the auto spray, and the show dirt. Again, to show dirt, you press right on the D-pad, and that'll make it so all the dirt left in the level will glow orange. Again, this really helps when you're nearly finished spraying an object, but there's still some dirt and maybe you can't find it. Go ahead and press right on the D-pad, it'll glow orange, making it a lot easier to finish that object or surface. Next thing I wanna talk about is ladders. Every level has a ladder and a stool. To use them, you need to walk up to them, get within a couple feet, and you're gonna press down to pick up that ladder or stool. Once it's picked up, it's gonna show you all the locations that you can set it down. You're gonna go close to one of those blue locations. Once it turns orange, you can press down on the D-pad to set the ladder or stool right there. This is exactly how you get to those hard to reach places or maybe on top of a house, on top of a playground, whatever it is. You wanna make sure that you take advantage of your ladder. This will definitely help with the hard to reach places. And that's going to cover all of my tips and tricks for Power Wash Simulator. If you watch this full video, by this point, you guys should be a power washing expert and I think you're ready to go ahead and dive into the game and complete the game for yourself. Hopefully completing the levels a lot faster than you were before. Also, make sure you guys keep an eye out for my video guides for this game as I'm going to be uploading achievement guides this week. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 12 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club including Tim G84, Kegger101, Kana25, and GamertagNation.com. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.